You sit down to install an update on your PC. You wait for the progress bar, your system restarts, and then you see it. We couldn't complete the updates, undoing changes. It's one of the most frustrating Windows messages because it feels like the system is working against you. Hours of waiting, and in the end, you're back where you started. But the good news? There's a safe and simple way to fix this without diving into complicated commands or deleting important files. Stick with this step by step, and by the end of this tutorial, your updates will finally install the way they should. Let's get straight into the fix. Click the Start button on your taskbar and type Services into the search bar. Open the Services app when it appears. This tool manages all the background processes running on your computer, and one of them is directly responsible for updates. Scroll down the list until you find Windows Update. Double-click it, and in the window that opens, click the Stop button. This temporarily turns off Windows Update so it won't interfere with what you're about to do. Click OK to confirm, and leave the Services window open. You'll need it again in a moment. Now open File Explorer. On the left side, click This PC, then open your C drive. Inside, you'll find the Windows folder. Scroll down until you see a folder called Software Distribution. This folder is where Windows stores temporary update files. Think of it like a staging area for downloads before they're installed. Here's where most guides on the internet will tell you to delete the contents of this folder. But deleting is risky and unnecessary. Instead, we're going to take the safer route. Right-click the folder, choose Rename, and change the name to Software Distribution Save. That one change is enough to tell Windows, forget about this old folder, start fresh. You're not deleting anything, so if something ever went wrong, the files are still there as a backup. Now, go back to the Services window you opened earlier. Double-click Windows Update again, set the startup type to Automatic if it isn't already, then click Start. Hit Apply, then OK. In the next step, you need to restart your computer. This is when Windows automatically creates a brand new software distribution folder with clean files. When your PC boots back up, open the Start menu, type Check for Updates, and let Windows run the scan. With a fresh folder, the system can download and install updates without tripping over corrupted files from before. And here's the final step. Once everything works and your updates finish installing, you can safely delete the software distribution save folder you renamed earlier. Until then, it's fine to leave it as is. That's the entire fix. Stop the update service, rename the folder, restart the service, reboot, and check for updates. In most cases, the loop is gone and the updates install normally. So now that you've fixed the problem, let's take a moment to understand why it happens in the first place. Windows updates are stored temporarily before installation. Imagine it like unpacking a box. Windows downloads files, puts them into the software distribution folder, and then processes them during installation. But sometimes, those files get corrupted. Maybe your computer shut down in the middle of a download, maybe your internet connection dropped, or maybe another program interfered. When even one of those update files is incomplete or damaged, Windows doesn't know what to do. It tries to install, fails halfway, and then rolls everything back. That's when you see the undoing changes message. Renaming the software distribution folder solves this because you're essentially moving that broken box out of the way. Windows is forced to build a new folder from scratch with clean, complete files. It's like giving your PC a fresh workspace without all the clutter. Another important reason this happens is that Windows updates are cumulative. That means new updates often rely on previous files. If those older files are broken, every new update attempt stumbles over the same issue. By refreshing the folder, you break the cycle. And here's why renaming is smarter than deleting. Deletion is permanent. And if Windows needed something from that folder, it's gone. By renaming, you give yourself a safety net. If everything goes smoothly, you can remove the old folder later. If not, you still have the original data to fall back on. So the next time Windows gets stuck with, we couldn't complete the updates undoing changes, you don't need to panic, and you definitely don't need to spend hours reinstalling Windows. Just remember this process. Stop the update service, rename the folder, restart, and let Windows do the rest. It's a simple trick that gives you control back and saves you from the frustration of endless update loops. Now, when your computer checks for updates, you won't be staring at the same error message. You'll actually see the progress bar finish, 
the updates install, and your PC move forward instead of backward. And that's the way it should be.